Today's question is brought to us by Nickelodeon's The Casa Grandes, and it's about one of the strangest candies to come around each year, the tri-colored candy corn. Some people love the sugary little kernels, and others can't stand them. So what's the deal? Where did candy corn come from? Let's find out on today's episode of Colossal Question. A traditional piece of candy corn is made of three bands of color, a wide yellow end, an orange center, and a white tip. This kind of makes it look like a kernel of corn, which is where it gets its name. The waxy candy kernels were first invented way back in 1880 by the Wonderly Candy Company and called Chicken Feed. The treat was meant for rural Americans who lived and worked on farms, and the snack was a quick hit. In the beginning, candy corn was made entirely by hand. Candy makers would mix sugar, corn syrup, a special kind of food wax, and water together, then cook it. Fondant and marshmallows were thrown in to soften it up, then the hot liquid was poured into molds once for each color. Today, the recipe is basically the same. It's just done by machine so that companies can spit out way more candy than they could by hand. According to the National Confectioners Association, about 9 billion kernels of candy corn are produced every year. That's more than 9,000 tons of candy. Today, we usually think of candy corn as a seasonal treat that turns up each fall just in time for Halloween, but you can actually get it other times throughout the year. Indian corn shows up around Thanksgiving with a brown stripe instead of yellow. Reindeer corn is available around Christmas time and replaces the yellow and orange with red and green. Cupid corn for Valentine's Day is red, pink, and white, and bunny corn is usually pink, green, and yellow for Easter. And in the United States, freedom corn is available around Independence Day and are red, white, and blue. So whether you like candy corn or not, one thing seems clear. Those waxy little sugar kernels are here to stay. Thanks again to Nickelodeon for sponsoring this episode. Be sure to check out the Casa Grandes, Saturday mornings at 11.30, 10.30 Central. Remember to subscribe for more episodes of... Colossal Questions! Only on DreamWorks TV.